Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to easily key out a green screen background and that way you can place yourself over other images or footage exactly like you can see going on right now. We're going to look at how to do it inside of Apple's Final Cut Pro, but if you'd like to see how to do it using Adobe Premiere Pro instead, I've got a separate video for that, I'll put the link in the description below. Now, let's dive on in. So to begin with, I'm going to bring my files inside Premiere Pro. I'm just going to click and drag them on into the project I've created. And from there, I'm going to bring them into my timeline. So to begin with, I have just a simple background. I'll play this for you. It's just me uh, messing around on my YouTube channel. So we've got a little bit of movement going on in the background. And then I'm going to place myself over the top of this. And for that, I have the green screen clip. So I'll click and drag this on. And this obviously isn't see-through at the moment. Again, I'll just play it for you. Okay, this is the video clip where I'm going to key out the green screen behind me. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. So what we want to do is get rid of the green screen so that we now have this showing through behind me and I'm just going to be hovering over it and I'm also going to maneuver myself into the corner. And naturally we also need to get rid of all the edges and the desk and also the microphone as well. And this is really simple inside of Final Cut. All you need to do is make sure you've got the green screen clip selected, then come on over Click into your effects browser, which is just here, and then come on down and find the keying option. Grab the keyer and drag it onto your clip. Now straight away you can see that this gets rid of what is on the green screen, but we need to get rid of the edges and we can make this look a little bit better. So over here under the effects panel in the keyer, you've got these options just here. So if we click over onto this one, this gives us the matte effect. And this way we can see if there's anything overspilling onto the green screen, which is now shown as black, or onto me and I'm showing up as white. So for example, I can see just here, there's a little bit of black showing up on the white. So to get rid of that, we can just change the fill hole section, bring it up ever so slightly, that gets rid of it. And this is pretty good because I've got the lighting set up properly, but if you've got a lot of overspill, then you can simply come on down to matte tools, open this up, and then you can either play around with the levels, you can bring this up and down, or what I personally like to do is also use the shrink and expand. So if I bring this down, I do it ever so slightly. What that actually does is bring in around the edges. So if I do it to the extreme, you can see it's really brought in the edges far too much. But if you've got any overspill on you, you've got some green showing on your clothes or in your hair, just shrinking it ever so slightly helps. And the same with soften. I usually go for 0.4. Again, you'll need to play around with these to get the right amount for you. Every clip is going to be different depending on how your lighting is set up. But just softening those edges is going to get rid of any green overspill. Now I want to make it transparent again. So up here under view, click over onto our left option. And now it's time to get rid of these edges. So for that, we want to come down to masks, click on draw mask and drag this on again into the clip. It now gives us the option to click and add a control point. So we just need to carefully click around inside the green screen, making sure not to go over the edges. So I'll just do this quickly, click around and just make sure that I am careful going around the microphone to make sure that I don't accidentally uh, click over that. When you've joined them up at the top, you can then go around to any point and readjust it if you need to. And now I just need to move myself around because there's a gap underneath me. So again, still selected on the green screen clip, come over here, click the transform button. And now I can simply drag myself down. I want to make myself a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to grab myself and move myself down and over into the corner. Then I can click on done. And to get rid of the uh, little draw mask around me, I can just come on up, click on effects, and that gets rid of it. Okay, if I bring it back to the beginning of the timeline, let's take a look at it. Okay, this is the video clip where I'm going to key out the green screen behind me. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And there we go. That's the quick and easy way that I always take out a green screen behind me inside of Final Cut. A really important part of this is using the right green screen and of course lighting. I've got some links in the description below to the ones that I use myself. They're the best value that I've found. And if you'd like to see how to do this inside of Premiere Pro instead, there's also a link in the description to that tutorial as well. I really hope this has helped you. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.